Well, I mean, I think I was hoping that this championship would be a breakthrough for the, the youngsters I have in my group um, prior to the Olympics, and I think it's turning out quite well. Um, Janiv did very well, I think, and and um, and now Sherika, um, and uh, so you know it's 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 good, and um, I think it prepares prepares them well for next year. Hopefully, Ilian will do as well tomorrow night, you know. But um, it's it's good for them to be able to reach this kind of level for the first time and deliver. PBs and that kind of stuff, and that is what we can all you can really hope for. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, Jackson said a few times she hates the 400, mm -hmm. the 200 is her event, and that she may take on the 200 when, according to you, when she's more mature, probably mm -hmm. another two or three years. Mm -hmm. um, is, is that your, your opinion? Yeah, I mean, she right now she's she she is very injury prone. I mean, she is. Like most of the athletes who just enter the program, they, 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 they tend to break down at least for the first three years. So the emphasis is to try and keep her away from much of the explosive stuff, especially in training. So to make sure that she can compete. I mean, last year she had problems and which kind of hampered her progress. This year was much better. There was a lot less stoppages in practice. So. She performed better, and next year, if we can continue the same thing, she will also make a huge improvement again. So, um, you know, we have to be patient, and, and, and probably usually after three years in the program, the athletes have finally strengthened up everything that they need to strengthen, and be flexible enough, and etc. So, after the Olympics, then um, I'm sure she will be able to turn her attention to running the 200 if she believes that it's still too. Not too hard for her to get in there. Three people from your club coached by you in the 400 meters final. What mm. does that mean for MVP? Well, uh, look, both Stephanie and Christine were very, very minor talent at high school. I think Christine ran like 57 seconds and Stephanie at like 56. Um, they have come a long way, they both work hard. Um, Christine has major problems with her weight. I mean, she, she probably weighs about 110 pounds, you know, and she finds it difficult to discipline herself enough to eat to put on weight to get stronger. But you know, she's still fairly young, and so therefore, I so I believe that with this success that she has had, she will attend to those areas of weakness. And uh, um, you know, it's it's. We, we have a good program when we do get people who will do the work and we do get some talent, then I think we do fair justice to it. You know, um, we don't normally get the kind of talent, I guess, that, 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 that people feel we should get. But, you know, what we do, no, I think we do, uh, I think we do take care and improve the talent that we get. And so therefore, you know, hopefully, young ladies and men, gentlemen, who we think are talented, will feel that they will benefit if they come to UTEC and come to MVP. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the shot put also another MVP mm -hmm. medal mm -hmm. first for Jamaica. Odin is, is, is almost a miracle in itself. I mean, he was not very highly rated at high school. Um, he was picked up to go to UTEC almost as an afterthought and he improved every year by a meter, a meter every year until he got to the point where he was world class and he works hard, he's very consistent, he goes through a lot of stuff and you know I expect him that next year he is going to challenge very strongly for the top medal in Rio if he's healthy. So we, we, we will see what happens. And of course, Shelly and Fraser. What can we say about Shelly and Fraser? Another world title. Um, you know, she lost out in, in, in 2011, I think, was the mm. We all know that she wasn't 100%. Mm -hmm. But three world titles, your thought? Well, uh, Shelly <laughs> um, is somebody who is extremely disciplined at what she does. She she somehow manages to resist 
most of the temptations to be to indiscipline. Um, you know, she is always, I think, luckily we have an environment where she's always under pressure. Uh, we always have young sprinters coming up, now she has Elaine and uh, um, you know, the fact that Elaine is going to run, you know, she knows that Elaine, once Elaine learns to start close to her, she, she's going to have problems and, and so therefore it keeps her working, it keeps her making sure that she does everything that she's supposed to do and, um, you know, so that she can't be surprised and she can't suffer the consequences of people who don't do what they're supposed to do. And the fact you mentioned Ilya, not the best starter yet, not up to Shelly's mm -hmm. standard. Mm -hmm. but, um, did that contribute to you putting her um, at the 200 and not the 100? Well, just two things. I mean, I knew she was an extremely good 200 runner. Um, and I also knew that she wasn't going to beat Shelly. Um, this year, until, or until she can develop a much better, explode, she can develop her explosiveness. You know, she's way inferior in terms of where she's going to be in terms of her power and explosiveness. She just isn't there yet. So, and she was only going to do one event because it's their first time. So therefore, it was obvious that the 200 would have been the one where she could probably maximize her, her return, her talent. But overall, overall, you're satisfied so far. It's not over yet, but so far you're satisfied as a coach um, with the athletes from your group. Yes, I mean, you know, we had we have had hiccups. I mean, Julian's run yesterday was inexplainable, unexplainable. I mean, I don't, I still don't know what happened because I expected him to be very close to medal. Um, you know, but apart from that and and the bad judgment of Simaya in the 800, you know, I, I, I mean, I think we can't complain because we have had very, very good performances. And then, and then a master show so for me, my friend. Mm -hmm. What is it that you saw in Sherika? that you persisted, insisted that she ran the 400? It was mainly because we, I mean, she ran the 400 in high school. We all know she wasn't fond of it. But I believe that, first of all, she is not a 100 meters type sprinter. And um, so, but by running the 400, it will help her 200 whenever it is that we decide to, that she's going to run that. You know, but I also know that she can run, I believe she can run 47 you know, by a couple of years. and. Um, we will make a good go at it and see what happens.